Welcome to this week's blog where Debbie and I will be talking about all things um, that you might consider non-negotiable for your, when you're inducting or onboarding new clients. So what I mean by that is that you can select, you can choose which clients you want to work with. You can uh, be, um, you know, you can use your, um, you know, decisions on how you are going to create your business model, what clients that you want to work with and how you operate within your business. You don't need to accept um, everybody into your business. So I know when I started my business, <clears throat> I was accepting everybody at that time because I, I you know, obviously didn't have any clients and I was just working as a contractor. I accepted some jobs. But as you move along your journey, you can get to a point where you say, right, I am no longer accepting those particular clients. So they might be clients that don't pay you, that, you know, are quarterly clients. They could be uh, really small clients that just want to review work. They might be ones that don't want to go onto Receipt Bank. So think about what your non-negotiables are for your future planning of your business. Deb, I imagine that you've got yeah. the, the same type of, you know, outcome in your journey. Absolutely. And I think, I think when you're starting out, you just don't think about it. You, you, you don't think about the idea of choosing your clients. I actually, when I was probably pretty naive and I thought that everyone would be nice <laughs> um, and they'd pay me on time and they would speak to me respectfully and they'd do all that. And then I'd, started to the more clients that I just said, Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, I can do that. And I can fix that when I was that, which I could fix their bookkeeping. But then I found out that I actually didn't like them that much. I didn't respect them. They were a little bit mean and, uh, and disrespectful. And I was thinking, boy, if I had my time over again, I would never have chosen them. So I think it was a bit of an awakening where I realized it's like friends and family and, and just, people in general there are some people you get along with and some people that you don't so when you're designing your business that are designing a business that you love get to know the person that you're you're thinking about working with what are their goals what do they like to do you know have that conversation with a prospect right at the start in the new client details form which is one of the templates in the pbs there is the last page of that is helping you select your ideal client to, to determine whether this client is ideal. You know, how, did they take personal calls during that prospect meeting? Did they keep you waiting? Do they not care? Do they say, no, I don't want you to do that. I only want you to do this. Are they telling you how to do your job? You know, there's, there's lots of things that just great in the background or that little churning in the, in your stomach that you go, mm this just doesn't feel right. You don't have to take them on just because they've got a pulse and a checkbook. Hmm. Exactly. So what are your non-negotiables? So if you'd like to add those into the comments below, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, and maybe if you don't have any non-negotiables at the moment, think about what they could be and, and comment below. But for those um, leaders in our community, those that have the business for a while, share your thoughts, share your non-negotiables so others can learn from that as well. And I'll, I'll finish off with one final thought that I have carried with me throughout my business is that you can't do your best work with everybody. Not everybody in your area. Now we're running virtual businesses. You just physically, it's impossible. So it makes sense to choose the people that you can do your best work with. Exactly. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.